I'm Darren, uh, Screen Solutions. Uh, we are in Brexville, right now installing a Phantom screen door on a slider here. But I'm gonna end up just installing it right onto around the frame, just because we have to be on the same plane. So luckily, the frame's all on the same plane. So we will attach it right to there. Um, we'll put a trim piece back here to cover up the gap that will be there from in installing it and clean that up to make sure no bugs come in. I'm Marty with Screen Solutions. We're here installing a phantom retractable door. Darren Ray took the measurements for the door, so now we're here at the truck and cut everything down. Uh, doors come in at 7 foot and 8 foot. Uh, for this one, we're going to use a 7 foot door and cut it down to 80 inches. We're here in the truck, um, getting ready to cut the door down. And you see that door right here it comes in the box, nicely wrapped up, so nothing is scratched. We'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, the door we're using here is a right hand door. Again, everything's done custom right here on site. The brush here is to help make a perfect seal on the door. So no bugs should be in there. Right here and cut the tube down as well. Make sure the mesh is aligned perfectly. Family we're kidding. Right now, I'm making tension on the spring. That helps keep the tension on the mesh. Here are these caps for the handle to hide the screws, make it nice and clean looking. Last thing is add the bumpers. You know, in case you let go of the door, this helps keep the noise down and doesn't give you too big of a scare. The door is installed, you're just pulling it across with the handle, so it latches, you'll see the um, silver latch go in and then it'll pop back out. That means that your latches are in place at the top and the bottom, your mesh is tight. To release you just hit the silver latch button, it'll release it, you'll feel the tension pull and you just guide it back. And what you're doing is when you're put, when you're Pressing on the latch button, what it's doing is there is a gear inside this slide bar. It is turning it, pulling, pulling rods towards the center, releasing the pin that you can't see. It's behind the uh, the cap, um, but what it does is it releases the pin, pulls it up, and allows it to slide back into the house. This is the Phantom Silicone Lubricant. It's a dry silicone lubricant. Uh, we leave these at, with every door install and we recommend using this, or a dry silicone lubricant more than a, a WD-40, more of a greasy lubricant just because of the dust it will collect and it'll make it harder instead of easier to slide. But yeah, you just hit the tracks every couple months or depending on usage and weather, spray a good amount so that your tracks are nice and you can definitely tell the difference between tracks that have been sprayed with lubricant and uh, tracks that have. 